Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League? And learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's up guys, Chaos here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to win more games in Madden 20. As you guys can see beside me, I've been absolutely dominating Madden 20. My only loss is to that daughter dater guy. I have 1700 wins and 190 Super Bowls. It's unbelievable. Yes, that record's real. Now, but in all seriousness, we've had the game for a couple weeks now, so I was able to narrow down about five tips that I think will help everyone win more games and just be more successful in Madden 20 alone. Some of the tips are a little basic, other tips are a little bit more advanced, but all around, all five I think are definitely gonna help you guys if you try to implement them into your game. Very quickly though, I do want to give you guys another like goal. You guys have continued to knock them out every single time I give them to you guys, so I'm going to do it again. If we get 500 likes on this video, I will drop you guys the best Weekend League Shed defense that you guys can find. That's right, 500 likes on this video, and I'll give you guys the best possible defense for getting more wins in Weekend League. But alright man, enough talking, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first tip to winning more games in Madden 20 is falling down or holding RB. I'm sure if you guys have played a lot of online games, you guys are fumbling the ball a ton. Everyone and their mom is getting hit sticks. Doesn't matter their hit power, they are knocking the ball loose and they are crushing you while doing it. The strip button also isn't bad, so people are definitely laying the ball down. Now, the ways to avoid that are either giving yourself up by falling down or holding RB. Either way, you're not gonna avoid 100% of them because sometimes you just catch the ball with tight space and you just don't have the room or to fall down before they crash before they crush you or maybe they just get a weird strip animation on you before you can even do anything something like that you might lay the ball down now I'm just gonna show you guys here the first one is falling down it's really simple guys you just if you're holding the right trigger to run you just press that left trigger as well press X and you'll give yourself up very simple very easy to do and you'll avoid most fumbles. Now you can get crushed while in the motion of doing this. So if you do it too close to the defender, they can still rock you and then you'll still lay it down. But for the most part, you'll have success doing that. Now the other option is pressing RB. So RB, like I said, is about 99% effective. Every once in a while you will fumble it. I probably fumbled once while holding RB this year. And it's it was kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's better than fumbling all the time. So you're just gonna hold RB and you're gonna see I protect the ball. The thing that's great about RB is you can still keep gaining yards while not having to worry about it for the most part because you're not going to fumble but you can keep running forward while holding that protect ball. So you guys are seeing here protecting the ball, running forward and you can even get like a little wiggly on them. So this year a common thing to make people miss instead of using the juke moves is to just kind of stop and wiggle a little bit make the guy miss the hit stick like he'll go for the hit stick and whiff then you just keep running right by him. So you can still do that while using RB. So I recommend holding RB whenever you can. But something that you do have to note is if you're scrambling with your quarterback, RB will not work. You will still fumble with RB just as much as you do without if you're scrambling with a quarterback. So if you're scrambling with your quarterback, make sure you give yourself up instead of holding RB. Now let's move on to the next tip. Okay, so my second tip for winning more games in Madden 20 is low passing. Now I did break down this uh, low passing in depth in a longer video. If you guys are interested in that, I'll have it in the cards above if you guys want to check that out. But for now, I'll just kind of show you guys a brief little segment on it to show you guys how low passing can be effective just in one way. With how man-to-man -man is, uh, you can low pass balls on the break, as well as with the way cover three plays with matching on corner routes and stuff most of the time this year, you can kind of low pass it in before he gets to his match and kind of fit balls in where you might not be able to do so with a regular pass. So I'm going to show you guys here with, I'm not going to throw the ball at all. I'm going to show you guys the cover three is going to match on this corner route. And I'm going to show you guys how a low ball would have helped you guys fit this ball in. Now you see a match on the backside and you can't really throw the streak this year to bomb it outside because you don't really have fades. You kind of, the streak and a fade are both kind of like fades. So you'll see here, this cover three zone is going to match this corner route on the outside. And maybe you could throw it right on the break, but if you miss it, this is a tough pass to fit. You can easily click on and make this play, and I break that down in the video with longer depth of uh, low passing. But I'm going to low pass this ball in here and show you guys that you can really fit it in if uh, even when the guy is matching on it because the guy can't really make a play. So we're baseline pressing here just like we did before. Go on and baseline. There we go. And I'm going to low ball in this corner, and it's going to fit right in that pocket. Bam, right there. And you guys see... It kind of comes down now I'm gonna pass it one more time and I'm not gonna low pass it I might complete it just because I haven't I don't have the ability to click on and make the play because I'm using two controllers I did show you guys in the low pass video that you could click on and make a play but it's just gonna be a lot less uh, spacious because you're not gonna pass lead it quite as well and you guys see that was a pass lead straight down 
I'm telling you guys right now, that was a pass lead straight down. Now, I know it was an accurate throw, but you guys saw this guy turn and make a play on this ball. And he can, he, this was without a click on. He can easily knock that out. That's never going to be a catch, even if it's an accurate pass. That'll never be a catch. It might even be a pick. So make sure you guys are low passing these passes in, and you'll have a lot more success with that. Show it one more time here, and then we'll get on to the next tip. Right here, low pass that thing, and you get such a better pass lead. It's actually like kind of replacing your pass lead to get him to come back down and cut that ball off before the deep third can get to you. But let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for our third tip, it is to use man coverage and mix up your coverages in general, right? So if you come out in like a cover two, right? You're gonna wanna mix in different man to man. So manning up this slot guy right here on this corner route is something that'll really help you because you'll get a really good bump on RB as well as take away probably whatever route he's gonna be running if it's a deep corner route, a deep pose, something like that. Now there are man beating routes, of course, but for the most part, you're gonna be able to box whatever route you man up, especially if the corner's decent. Now, something else you're, you're gonna to wanna to have a good shell behind it. So maybe you wanna call cover two when you man your guy up. And maybe you wanna man up, uh, excuse me, maybe you wanna man up this guy here, right? There's different things you wanna do. And then you wanna have a cover two shell behind it. But maybe you don't like cover two. Maybe you like to run cover three, right? Well, you can take this hook curl and man him up still. And then you're using this guy right here in the middle of the field. And you still can make do with your cover three shell and do different things. So really all I'm trying to get you guys to do is Mix up your coverages and you have to be mixing in man to man. Heck, you could even go you could even go straight two man under. Uh, with good block shed defense, you'll be able to make plays with this two man under and just give people trouble. And then with this guy that's blitzing, maybe you want to man him up on Y. And then you can just use it in the middle of the field and do whatever you want. There's so many different things you can do this year. Lots of coverages when mixed in can be effective. Now there are bad zones. Yellows from linebackers don't do a ton. Cloud flats aren't great. But if you're mixing in cover two, cover three, changing your shell, mixing in man to man, manning up people all across the field and just making them kind of guess whoever you're manning up and guess whatever shell you're in, your opponent will struggle. I can tell you that right now. And then take those two things and maybe add in a blitz that you like, then you're really gonna be in a great spot where your opponent's kind of guessing what you're doing every single play. And when your opponent's guessing, they're gonna struggle offensively. When they're going against the same coverage and the same number of people blitzing every single play, then they get in the rhythm and that's when they dot you away. So for the third tip, it's just mixing your coverages and making sure you're using man to man. Okay, so the fourth tip I'm gonna give you guys is getting used to the hot route masters and or wide receiver routes. You guys are gonna probably need them no matter what you're running. I'm telling you guys right now, man-to-man -man is very prevalent, and these routes can help you beat man-to-man -man no matter what. So if you're looking at these guys, you look at the post, the corner, the cross, all these are going to do a great job against man. You have the post, you have the corner, you have the cross, all that stuff, man. All that stuff's going to be great against man. And then you add motion to them, they're going to beat man every single time. So that's something that you guys can definitely get used to and have some success with. Additionally, I know you guys might say, well, I don't want to use Brady. I want a fast quarterback. Well, if you want a fast quarterback, then just get used to the receivers using it. Maybe put it on one or two of them and get used to that. You could just use a slot apprentice or outside apprentice. Maybe you're in a CFM. You didn't get the Patriots. You could use any receiver that has them. So like the Saints have Michael Thomas. There's several teams that have different receivers that get these routes. You don't eat them on every player. Obviously, I like them on every player because it just helps me beat mana even easier and also manipulate the zones. But it's not 100% necessary. You can use it on one or two and make do. Now, the thing that's great about these routes is they're going to be great against man obviously these po the post and corners are quick cuts they're going to beat them additionally the the posts and corners are going to get over vert hooks and cloud flats now any that's like kind of the dream route in madden any route that will get over the underneath stuff like yellows and clouds but get underneath the deep blues is gonna be something you're gonna like so i'm just gonna run this post pattern stock and look at that right there bam perfect there's nothing that's pulling down the vert hook there's nothing that's pushing back the deep blue but both of which didn't have anything like any part of a chance of playing this post route it just gets to the perfect spot on the field look at that nothing's pushing back this deep half nothing's dragging this vert hook underneath you're just able to throw it right in that pocket that's perfect and now these corner routes are kind of similar that you can throw them deep now one part like it's probably better from compression like a split close or a tight but you're still gonna have success with this uh, with this uh, corner route, kind of whatever you're in. Now I will I will uh, try to pass this up over the cloud. It might not work for me out of trips, but I promise you guys, if you go into split close, you go into tight, and you mess around with it, these corner routes will get over clouds for you, no matter what. And I'm just gonna pass lead this up, and I got sacked. I'll try it for you guys one more time. You can usually pass lead it up right over the cloud, 
But either way, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. You're going to want to use this in tight, and they're going to beat man for you, which is really what the main point of this using these rods is, is to get be easier against man. If it's not, if it helps you guys beat zone, that's a bonus, but you're just going to want it to beat man just because it's so hard to beat man this year. Now, I was able to fit that in. You could probably click on and make a play if you were clicking on. But I, you guys trust me, if you guys run tight, you guys run split close, you guys run anything that's compressed, um, cluster, go into practice mode, you'll see it will get over the cloud for you if you use the Brady Hot Route Master uh, corner routes or whatever wide receivers carry those same ones. Just go test it on your own. Take my word for it. Trust me, it'll work. Now, let's move on to the final tip. Okay, so our fifth and final tip for winning more games than Madden 20 is running the ball. Now, I know it seems a little anticlimactic to have this one last, right? But it honestly is the simplest, but it's probably the most important, honestly. If you guys aren't running the ball, you guys are missing out. You guys know me. I'm a passer. I pass the ball 24-7. It's something I'm having to get myself to do because it's just too effective not to use. You guys have watched me the past few years. I pass the ball pretty much every play. But at the beginning of the year, the run's never been as effective. Excuse me. I'm not going to say never. The past couple of years, it hasn't been as effective as it is now. The block sheds were much higher, and guys had a lot less space to make do. So find your guys' uh, run that you guys like. I personally love stretch pretty much at any formation. I close is a really good one with stretch, but there's tons of them that you guys can just go work with, and they can just have so many like so much potential even without ball carrier moves. Then you add in the fact that you have evasive or armbar or bruiser, so you guys can truck people, you can stiff arm, you can juke, you can do so many things to be successful. And then you also have like the wiggle stick that people are starting to do. Now I have no stick, so I can't do it, but to make people miss there's so many different things you can do on top of having good runs in general to just go make plays with you can run dive you can run stretch you can do whatever the case may be but i'm trying to i want to give you guys this i wanted to say this because i feel it's so important if you guys aren't running the ball like you, you guys pride yourself oh i'm a passer i'm a passer you guys are hurting yourself because this is just free yards passing the ball can be stressful you have to make reads you have to worry about the blitz you have to worry about what coverage adjustments they're making when you're running the ball you can just Honestly, run the ball and not even make reads, and a lot of the time you'll make you'll pick up yards. It relieves uh, stress and pressure from yourself when you're able to run the ball effectively and keep your opponent keep your opponent off guard. And maybe they're a high-powered offense, you can keep them off the field by running the ball and wasting clock. So I know it seems a little anticlimactic to have this last, but I wanted to make sure you guys are running the football. I hope these tips were all helpful for you. This is how you're going to win more games in Madden 20. Take it easy, guys. Peace.